It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking systems of linear equations, and we're asked to find one with no solution. Here we go. Which of the following systems of equations has no solution? Here's where you're going to pause the video, make your best answer choice, and then come back to see the solution. Welcome back. So we're given four answer choices. So there are many different ways that you could approach this, but let's first review what no solution means to a system of linear equations. So a linear system with no solution will be lines that are parallel, meaning they will never intersect. That's why there's no solution. So when we're talking about a system of linear equations, the point where the two lines intersect is the solution to the system. So when we have no solution, we have parallel lines and they never intersect. Both lines will have the same slope. We know that lines that have the same slope and different y-intercepts are parallel. The lines will have the different y-intercepts. If they had the same slope and same y-intercept, they'd be the same line and you wouldn't have no solution. You'd have infinitely many solutions because they would all points would be intersecting on the line. So again, same slope, different y-intercepts tells us we have parallel lines, and that is a linear system with no solution. When we solve algebraically, the variables will both be eliminated, meaning you won't have an x or a y. You'll have two numerical values. And when we solve algebraically, those numerical values, that numerical sentence that's left, will be false meaning you'll have zero equals two, which is not true, or something of that nature. All right, now that we have reviewed what a linear system with no solution would look like, let's go through and solve each of our choices. So again, there's other ways you could do this. You could graph it. You could put them all in slope intercept form. I am actually just gonna go through and solve because they're all set up perfectly for elimination, except with a couple changes. So I first identify that my variable terms here are not lined up. Negative 2x is over here. So I can, because this is negative th uh, 3y, add negative 2x. Remember, subtract is add the opposite. It's commutative, so I can reverse the order. So when I rewrite this, I leave the first equation as it is, and then we flip-flop the terms. Remember that negative sign goes to the term that follows it. So that's negative 2x and 3y, and now we're perfectly set up to add, seeing as these are opposite values. So if your coefficients are opposite, you want to add. If they're the same, you want to subtract. So I could subtract because these are the same, but I prefer to add. So when I add, these are opposites, that's zero. So it's a zero pair. 3y plus 3y is 6y, and 8 plus 16 is 24. Divide both sides by 6, and we get that y is equal to 4. So I already know, because y equals 4, that I do have a solution, because this is the y-coordinate of the point of intersection. Just to review, to find the x-coordinate, that point, we're going to put 4 back in for y up into this first equation. You could for the second. So again, I rewrote that first equation where y is 4. So 2x plus 12, 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to subtract 12 from each side. Again, this is a zero pair, so I'm left with 2x equals 8 and negative 12 is negative 4. Divide both sides by 2, and we get that x is equal to negative 2. So our solution is the ordered pair negative 2, 4. So this system has one solution, meaning a cannot be our answer choice. Now let's move back to our question. We know a is not the solution. Let's look at b. So if we look at b, we can see that we have our terms are lined up, but no coefficients are the same or opposite. So we're going to multiply the first equation by a factor of 6 and the second equation by a factor of 8, forcing like coefficients. So let's move down here and do that. So 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 6 is 36, and 14 times 6 is 84. And then we're going to take the second equation and multiply everything by 8. 8 times 6x is 48x, 8 times 8y is 64y, and 8 times 28 is 224. Now we have the same coefficient, so we're going to subtract. Here we have our zero pair, 
and when we subtract, we have to subtract everything. So we're subtracting all like terms. So 48x subtract 48x is a zero pair. 36y subtract 64y is negative 28y. And 84 subtract 224 is negative 140. Divide both sides by your coefficient of negative 28, and we get that y is equal to 5. Now if you put y as 5 in one of your equations, you're going to come up with the value negative 2 for x, and we can see that that is one solution. So we could have stopped right here, because as soon as we found the value for y, we knew that we were going to find a value for x, and we had one solution. We could also look here, and because I could not force both coefficients of x and both coefficients of y to be the same or opposite, then we knew that we were going to have one solution. All right, looking at answer choice C, let's clear our board and look at just C. We can see that our x's and our y's are lined up, but they don't have any like coefficients. So we're going to take and we're going to, I like opposite pairs, right? You could do the x's, but I like the y's because they have opposite value signs. I'm going to multiply everything in the second equation by 3 to force opposite coefficients. So let's come up here and do that, keeping our first equation. Multiply 3x by 3 for 9x, 3 times negative y for negative 3y, and 3 times 4 is 12. And now we can go ahead and add, because I have my opposite coefficients here, giving me a zero pair. x plus 9x is 10x, and 8 plus 12 is 20. Divide both sides by 10, and we get that x is equal to 2. We'll plug 2 back into that first equation, and we're going to get that y is also equal to 2, giving us, again, one solution, the ordered pair 2, 2. This system will intersect at that point. So this leaves us answer choice D. But let's just not assume that we did everything right. Let's check it to be sure. So we're going to look at this and see that our x terms are not lined up and our y. So we're going to use commutative property and reverse that. So let's go over here and rewrite these. So now I can see I have the same coefficients. So now I'm going to subtract one equation from the other in the process of elimination. So when I subtract the first term, I must subtract the second and then the constants. 0 pair, 0 pair, giving me 0 equals 12 subtract 10, which is 2. That is a false numerical statement, and that before we know we have no solution. We also can see that they had the same coefficients, so we knew that when we added or subtracted, they were going to be eliminated. So here you have answer choice D is our system with no solution. So I thank you for joining me today to talk about finding a system of equations with no solution. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.